Hey BC, how's it going? Merry late Christmas. Uh, that's basically what this update's gonna be about is the Christmas stuff I got. So the story about these albums is uh, around in October uh, my parents asked me what I wanted for Christmas. They just and I said I want albums. So they just said, well, we don't know what you get to get you, so you just go out and get whatever you want. So I bought the albums, gave them to them, and, uh, waited for Christmas. Uh, but I don't have very many because uh, since my parents were paying for them, I kind of went towards the more high-priced albums. Some of them aren't too terribly priced, but one of them was like 50 bucks, so bought it for um, Christmas, because, sorry about the dogs, uh, because I wouldn't be able to buy it any other time. So the first one is uh, a fantastic copy. I've had three cut. this is my third copy of this album. I'm ditching, the, I'm not ditching them, but I'm going to sell the other two keep this one. This one's just mint condition. Budgie Bandolier. It's a Canadian issue and it's dead mint. So I can show you. Sorry about the dogs. Let me close the door real quick. Okay. So it's dead mint. I'll show you the vinyl, if you can even tell on this computer. It's just, it's not a single scratch or anything on this thing. And when you play it, it's not a, not a pop in the thing. So, Budgie, Bandolier. Next, okay, here's where the cool stuff starts popping in. So, my, one of my local record stores that's been open a long time always have insanely rare stuff and they're actually pretty well priced most of the time too. They bought a collection of Japanese pressing it and so I bought some of them. And this is the first one. Uh, Deep Purple in Concert. And I used to have a, a US pressing of this and the difference is crazy. This has got a gatefold. The other one was just single sleeve. The sleeves are just paper. This one's got actual printed sleeves. I'll show you. Here's the first disc. Pictures of the band. And then here's the insert. Sorry for all the glare. Let's see if I can fix that a little bit. Uh, and there's just Japanese lyrics, and it had this little poster in there, and there is the other printed sleeve. Just amazing what they put into these things, and they're just really nice condition. Next, this one I found at the same place, um, Juicy Lucy, first record. This isn't the one on Vertigo. The one on Vertigo has the the um, explicit cover, but it's a pretty good price. It's Dead Mint. I played it. I wasn't too into it, but I'll have to listen to it a couple times before I make my final decision about keeping it or not. And next, Mastodon, first record, Remission. And yeah, this is a great record. That's all I have to say about that one. Got this one at the Mastodon show, and it's their latest album, and this is actually autographed, if you can see. Uh, the band was up here too. And basically, the thing with this is they had their albums uh, for sale and they also had them for uh, uh, to get autographed or 
to be autographed, or they were already autographed, is what I was trying to say. Um, and basically, this album, brand new, is 30 bucks, and for just 10 more bucks or something like that, you can get an autograph, so just decided to spend the 10 more dollars. And next, uh, original German press of Nectar. I think this is their final album. This is Man, Man in the Moon. Actually, they had an album recently, I think. So this is not their final album. This is their 80s album. Uh, Vertigo, Nucleus, kind of jazzy. Uh, this is a UK press it's from 1974 or 76, one of those two years, or 75. Actually, I actually think it's 75. Uh, but yeah, cool cover. Vertigo. Like $10 or something. And then this was the $50 album right here. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, Japanese Press. There it is. Sadly, didn't come with an insert or anything, just the vinyl. There's an EMI label. But you know what? It was in the store, had the money, couldn't pass it up. So, I had two other copies of Dark Side of the Moon, which I sold. UK Press. And a U.S. press. The U.K. press was not the blue diamond, by the way. Um, lastly, another Japanese press. Um, yes, going for the one. This one does have the insert. There it is with some. And here's the insert. Got a picture of the band right there. I don't know what they're going crazy over today. They've been really annoying lately, if you can still hear the dogs. But that's all I got. Thanks for watching.